Hi, I'm Tom Mullaney. I'm here today to show you three ways to insert smart chips into your Google Docs. We'll start with the hardest and we'll work our way up to the easiest. So I want to get a smart chip for this Google Slides presentation into this document. Now when smart chips first released, it was all about the at key, right? And so if I start typing at and the title, I notice I have all these people, files, and it's not even the files that are that I want here. The file is not here. That's the most that's the most difficult way. I suggest avoiding the at key. Better way. Insert. Now we have smart chips here and people and files. Uh, it just works really nicely for people, for calendar events, and for places. For files, it's a little less. Um, if I start typing French, it actually does come up at the, here it is there, um, but it did take a few, it, if you haven't accessed the file you're talking about for a while, it does, you know, it may not appear, especially if you're a teacher and you have a lot of things named similar names. But the easiest way to do this, while that can work, the easiest way by far is to just go to the file, make sure it's set to be visible by whoever is going to view the Google Doc, click the share button, get that copy link, and then let's paste that into the doc. It will prompt you to click tab to make it a smart chip right then, but pretend you forget to do that. As long as it's hyperlinked, once you click it, it will give you the option for chip or link. Link will just be the title, which is fine, but the chip is so much more apparent what it is. And I click on chip and look at that. That is obviously a Google Slides presentation. If you have any questions about inserting smart chips into your Google Docs and what's the easiest and most difficult ways to do so, please comment below or tweet me at Tom E. Mullaney. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.